welcome to Fine TV. As this is a series of female entrepreneurs, them. We want for use the story for inspire other women them, for inspire young upcoming girls them. We go look for be like them or go one for use them footpath for rich outside the one for rich. So today we do with a special woman who go one for making introduce himself. Good day, everybody. I name Aisha Sherife Wuri Jalo. Me na the proprietress of Bright Beginnings Preparatory and Secondary School, 39 Generite Road. Right. Okay, Aisha, Miss, Miss or Miss, Miss Aisha? Mrs. Wuri Jalo. Mrs. Wuri Jalo. First of all, welcome to Fine TV for the first time. And we're happy, and you know somebody we don't follow for some time. And we know say you don't get numerous awards and numerous recognition. They're one of them are the female outstanding personality inspiration award. Thank congratulations for that. Thank you. And I, I want for sure you say you are an inspiration to most women them. So tell women they will watch you now, even young men they will watch you, um old women they will want for restart their life. Tell them about yourself. Lord just go a bit personal. Okay, so Aisha na this happy, humble person. I believe for help people, them, and I believe say we na the change makers. Now we go change the narrative na salon. And I start my journey from JT Rifle. I take my NPSC. I been get 405. I go any Walsh. I get 11 at the time. I, I sit me wires. I did good, good. I go. My first degree was in English language. Then I go and read law. Then I start for born me beginning. I have four kids. So during the period, it wasn't easy. I took a break and I go back. Now, Alhamdulillah, I pass the bar. I'm a lawyer. You know, so with life, you never say never. You just keep going till you reach that level where you say, I am happy with myself. This is where I want for be. And I want for make people understand, say, this is not a race. You can start from zero and reach 100. Another person can reach 90, but that is their own level. Now they don't want for stop. So I can tell anybody out there, not talk say, me picking and then they stop me, make an achieve my dream. Right through me, cause them, I don't want me picking them. Right through me, cause I don't they develop my businesses, cause I'm also into agriculture and fee making. I know they allow anything for limits me. In everything I put God first, I persevere, work smart and very hard. Indeed, they work smart and very, very hard because they see now not to the hard workers in the win. Now, not the smart workers in the win. Aisha now and a lawyer and a filmmaker and an entrepreneur as well. So, one for no, first of all, you in the school days from JTFL to Annie Walsh to reading English to reading law, what's in a be you? What's in me they inspire you? Forget them kind of excellent grades there. What's in a be your source of inspiration? Firstly, is my mom. My mama is a very, very strong woman. She fought tooth and nearly sacrificed everything for me. So I remember I was in primary school, I promised and said, I will continue for make I'm proud. That was my biggest motivation. And then I grew up after a while going into secondary and college and I get love for activism and philanthropy. I believe, say, getting into entrepreneurship, I do social entrepreneurship, I'm able to help a lot of people because it won't be just about profit making. I'm able to reach out and give value to my community. I'm going to make my school live in the East End because I grew up at Mamiyoko Street. Right. Yeah, so I look at this Koso Town right down to Klein Town area. You don't only get certain high quality schools. I said, how do I give back to my community? This is one way I can give back. All right, giving back to your community and school is a way of giving back correctly, Miss, Mrs. Aisha Wui Jalo. Um, again, we how you combine? Because looking at you having four kids now, I uh, hope say one of them or some of them could not come during your school days, like since we did in college. How you combine that? Yeah, bearing kids and also going through your education, how you combine that? Honestly, you know, those were the toughest years, but I have a very strong support system. My mom, 
my best friends. One is a lawyer, the other one is an operations associate. They are always there. No, two are lawyers. And I'm like, oh, come for me. You know, they are always there. You know, however, like, um, growing up, you did hear beaucoup of women, them. As them born picking, that's the end of it. Me first, Bobo, I had him, it was third year when I was in English language. And um, me, two other, me paddy then came provoke me, say, I get um, LLB, I get law school, and I get pupillage. And so then they caught me picking it, because along the way, I just, even some of me tutor then kids say, come on, this man needs to give you a break, you know. But my pregnancies, you know, they are not easy. Sometimes I can admit for a long time. There was like me thought, but I had him prematurely. I've been there, law school, and um, my doctor was like, You go born the picking, you pick one, or you concentrate on the law. I say, I did all two. I admit now, hospital, I get me books. Then they know me head side. He say, When I need for take them books here away. They say, Oh, the father calls, and I say, Listen, if even I don't make them this year, I tried. I get people who they say, you're not the most resilient person I know. Because right to them period, they were the bond them picking in there. I failed at the law school. I did not make it. You know, like, in fact, with the third baby, I thought I was going to die. Because it was a really tedious bath. There was another one, I've been there wheelchair for go to the delivery. It wasn't easy. But I persevered. Yes, I went there. I didn't make it, but I went back and I did make it. And now, alhamdulillah, I'm a lawyer. So in whatever it is you're doing, God first, you persevere because you get for make your mind up, say, this is what I want to do. Nothing or they stop me. And I did make sure, say, by God in power and my hard work and smart work, I will make it. Indeed, your story is a very inspirational one. Because one thing the way we get now uh, culture now, see, the way I say now nah, a mentality. People and they think say me, if I do something, no, 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 for born it could disturb me. Especially the one that would go to school. Or there are there are people, the moment you them born, then feel say their life don't done. So what do you want for say to a woman like that? Okay, so I'll start from the back with the fact about having kids and you're done. Okay, so when I look at myself in the mirror, I go, oh, Sherifa, you're beautiful, you're opulent, you're smart. There's a long way for you to go. This is just a start. I they give me self that motivation. They, this is not me, and this is where I'm going to. My kids are part of me. I have to tell people, oh, I have four kids, and they're like, wow, and you look like that. Yes. Because you know they left you self. That is part of the mistake we have as women. And the greater mistake is the fact that men judge women. Oh, they have a biological clock. There are women who give birth at 50, 40. No, we don't. That is just something we didn't use for, you know, look at we in one kind way, we're not nice. I'm not keen to like for going to that. But all I can say is with women, we have a duty to ourselves. It's you first. Be unapologetic about whatever you're doing. You they make sure that so you take care of yourself. You need for sleep. Somebody want for call you at 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Excuse me, I need to sleep. Because when you get the beauty sleep, then you get a wrinkle, wrinkle free face. You get where you get your time, say, you know, I'm born out, I don't tire. Go rest. That TikTok not go benefit you nothing. Facebook no. You if you plan yourself well, okay. Um, my husband get for come or my fiance get for come money for making food, making food. If you need for meal prep, cook ahead, put on a freezer, batch cook. Then you go come, you make a you want me rest. If you know how for eat two days soup, then he has a problem. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, at the at the uh, you inspire me. So one thing I want to ask, how? You man, because I don't say man in the watch this one. How you man may be a support to you, and again, combined with that, as you say, you according to you, you been get for repeat the bar exam, and that not because you been go to you be you be get belay the first one, the second one you be get for repeat, right? So, how you pick up yourself because those is several situations there when a man is safe, the moment you don't fill our first bar exam. For make them pass and the next one can be difficult, very, very difficult. So tell me how you man the day around you, I be support you. Let me man the land from that. Then tell me how you pick up yourself. Okay, so I won't take all the credit. But one thing, um, I mean, uh, my man Odia is a long distance marriage relationship oh. we have. But he was supportive in his own way. But again, I can't take the limelight from me, mama. If it were past the bar, people were like, you took the bar with your mom. 
it literally they go to law school with pens and books and food you know my husband was there financially you know here and there call because there was a time where I gave up because um, after my premature pre bath, uh, after the picking, I, I didn't make it. I was downcast, but then I prayed about it and I went back. The second time I had my daughter, instead of was that bath was really crazy. I had PTSD, you know, post um, postpartum depression, sorry, and um, it wasn't easy. So I failed again. So it was twice. Wow. It was my third attempt, yeah. So the second time, and he was like, "Ah, it's not like you're not smart or anything, because your track record is really clean academically. You're doing good and all of that. This thing happened to you. Maybe you need to think about something else, you know." And I'm like, "No, I need closure. I'm going back. I'm going to do this." And third time, lucky charm, I'll make it. Indeed, um, this is a source of inspiration, like what they say, and that's not the purpose of this interview. Imagine somebody with an excellent student during the MPS stage. 405, it means you've been there among the best students in a salon. Beke again, 11, you're there among the best, and as Shossi was again, not the same thing. A go law school, it happened for repeat. If you do first degree, I'm not sure you clean up maybe first division or first class. You go to school, imagine what happen. You get for repeat the bar exam two times, three times they pass. So that means say no, nothing, no for stop you. Just keep on persevering. So I want to ask you a question: How you they combine? How you how? Let ask you first: How you 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 life as a lawyer? How you life as a lawyer? Okay, so. Um, and how many years you practice for? No, actually, I haven't practiced. Okay. Yeah, because I just passed the bar. What happened was after my daughter, I had issues with my businesses. Because what happened was during the COVID period, I started an NGO, I had my school, I started a farm, and everything just came crashing down. So I said, you know what? Three years. I took three years hibernation period, worked on my school, I made sure I worked on my curriculum, I worked on my staff, my HR, everything went smooth for the school and then I took the farm. Now uh, my orchard is growing slowly, alhamdulillah, and I went into documentary filmmaking for a while because that's a part of me I'm passionate about, I don't want it to die. And um, fortunately for me, I had a team um, and we won the COP26 award, yes, for the best documentary. We did a documentary on Fickle Sludge with my team, you know, and um, Bami Boy and Arthur Pratt, we are great, FMC, you know. They, they saw me and I was like, oh, I mean, I just write a leg and stuff and I don't know. You, got, you have a knack for production, try it. And you know, they've been my backbone since then in that sector so all of those things were there and i'm like you know what i need a break because there was a time my body shut down i did all sorts of tests there was nothing wrong with me but i can't concentrate there were fevers you know just different things and i'm like let me take a break take a breather i calm down you know my business was thriving alhamdulillah family is okay and then i'm like oh now's the time for me to go back finish my law and start practicing as a solicitor and barrister of the High Court of Sierra Leone. All right, so um, for now, you you are a lawyer. So tell me about your school. This school is our daily, the you know, the proprietress and also the principal, right? Yeah. Tell me about this school, what thing did it do? Yeah, tell me about this school. Okay, so Bright Beginning story started personally. <laughs> I, I've been to look for a school for me picking at the time the first one and I walked around certain schools and we are calling certain prizes and unfortunately I not been see what I've been to look for because I don't been to do research and I wanted this play based learning where me picking go to interact you know see waiting and feel waiting in the line. And I didn't quite get it. The school where I end up get we come close to what I wanted, they be they ask for a total of four thousand dollars at that time. Yeah, well I put together fees and all other charges where they ask for. And uh, I told my husband, I say, so I want to go because at the time I mean they in communication with certain big actor in another country. I'm like, I want to go into movies full time, I want to act. And he's like, mm, no, nah, I'm not going to make me you get issues. How about you think of something else? What about 
a school i said mm, that's a good idea i never thought about that you know what i like teaching people so let's see how it goes that was how my story started with bright beginnings i put things in place helped me he helped me with rent and a whole lot of other things and ebola struck i had to shut down for a year luckily for me i started in my grandpa's house so when he passed me, me daddy and him sibling then decided to we more just give him one year for pick up back on your feet and that other year i started again there were just three kids my son my in-laws daughter and one paying child i did not give up we persevered and um, I get stuff then we really love in the school administrator I can tell and say even if she decides to leave today she is Mrs. Jindin she will continue to have her package meeting her home because when I had nothing she believed in me there was a time even my man and my mama them we're like yes uh, the school the rent is you know we um, get for pay stuff and all of that I said no, I'm not giving up I believe this is going to work. I believe say now so I will make a change. I introduced kinder care and I'm in school where they handle picking them from one year to two and a half years. They say, ah, they care and they make money now. Eastern people and they make them picking and now I say, we know what they care. It's kinder care. We're preparing them for preschool. Then go come. And now I thank God gradually I get up to 10, 12, 15 picking them because I don't take much more than that. And I get two staff there for handle them very well. Because I believe, say, not so just Western the goodies then for the yeah. Eastern, we deserve that too. If the picking up prepare for coming up in the garden, what thing they can do? When he come, they go just can sing, 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 and get food. But with us, they, they learn social skills. They learn oral language, how they talk, how they interact with people. Them, and some picking they were done. They meet up. I mean, they get special needs picking them, picking them with ADHD, picking them with Down syndrome. In fact, I get one we don't go class two now. I had to go and do an online course for can teach me stuff how for handle them picking and they. I don't get another one where be autistic. You know, some of them picking and they they include them in learning yeah, yeah, yeah. they have to go to special yeah, yeah special schools for that but we have them here and we they make them feel a part of the family you know so with bright beginnings it's inclusive learning and it's the whole child the beginning spiritual in emotional psychological physical any academic and social life we're looking at all of that me picking them me parents even can surprise i know the names of every single picking i miss school wow. every single and if now been school time like work come they all the rush come i'm a mama bear you know and i love them and even the one that we go do the npsc i told them you guys you're my superheroes you're going to make me proud they say yes all of us are going to pass and we are definitely going to make you proud and one of them we get 288 she has a learning disability yes you know sometimes they forget everything we didn't teach them and sometimes it, 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 we just don't you know it's difficult for that self-diagnose because we do not have those people here but she has been struggling but look at what she did i tell you mama I say just believe in the picking she told me she wants to be a lawyer wow. you see so um you see this the a story of perseverance imagine somebody started school Ebola car, we all know it's Ebola Mimina Salon. Everything stopped. It started back with three. Just one being the pay. Two when I be in your picking and calling family member. So how most picking they get now at this school and which class to which class this school they on? Okay, so now we have over 200 kids approximately, yes. We have from kinder care where they deal with one year to two and a half years. And then we get um, preschool, we're in the pre kindergarten level, we other schools in a nursery one and two. We get kindergarten, which is nursery three, and we get grade one to six. And I'm introducing GSS one and two this year. Wow, yeah. you wow, ah, this is not our source of inspiration. You don't need to forget much, no, just okay. start somewhere, yeah. right? So, tell me about the MPSC results this year for Bright Beginning. I know that result, you know, it took my breath away. Me picking them, they went into that exams and they came out with 100% passes. Wow. The first one got 310 and the two list results were 288. 
they get the same result that was really impressive you know it got to a point where i was like I have, I'm, I'm seeing some certain slacks here and there i queried my grade six teacher and he was like I, i'm sorry ma'am i'll put more efforts and we motivated the kids i called them to my office one after the other what is going on are you okay are you happy at home because all of them thing in the day affects them picking them you know and you know after i get to talk with them they took their first and second mock the grades they wouldn't get in or score them go surprise you they did extremely well but we all know with public exams anything can happen within the, the net or the morning and anything but in all of that i am appreciative and very proud of them because at the end of the day they give me that result on school day the first man i even get to 50. indeed yeah. that's a very proud result for you even get only get percent pass yes. now so let's see somebody where they listen they watch this interview say me i want to make me picking go bright beginning tell you about how somebody go access bright beginning and tell me about the fees whether they're affordable or a big or for we the average people um, or what are you the cater for okay so um me believe that the cater for the middle class i want to provide quality for the middle class you know um if i look at my expenses it's crazy you see the facility already the building it costs me a lot of money and my curriculum are they use like for the primary are they use purely international i'm sorry for the nursery it's purely an international curriculum where i get from america with the primary acidum it took me three years to build that curriculum i get the american curriculum i amalgamate them i join them with the salon curriculum for make sure say the picking and the going PSC, they are not lost and I, I make more say, I mean, I want probably one of the, or either one of or the only private school where they teach Temine and Kriyonami school wow. at primary level. Yes, they do it and they take exams on it. And we also, for the Islamic Kingdom, if you do hijab or niqab, you, you can wear them, come with a modified uniform for fits that. And we do Arabic as a language and we do Quranic recitations and uh, memorization and the fiqh and um, the sirats as well when at the history of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, we did one and the christian picking them they do them bible studies as well because it's spiritual enlightenment you know they can teach picking how for be a better citizen tomorrow yeah. where you know look at in spiritual life the morality and all of that so we embrace that uh, we have loads of christian in fact me admin is christian you know so my school is a religious tolerant school so how possible we this school right beginnings day 39 generate road up gone the driveway they be in atuga from john james you count six houses you see the be two-story building it's very visible and we try to do more stickers and more flyers so people can easily locate the school and honestly my fees i believe say they really reasonable for waiting at the offer Schools the way they do similar things to what they do, now only two. And those are schools where they charge like 30 million a year. Wow. My fees, like even if you times me fee four times, you not even reach that. So just to put it out there like So that. mathematically, you go to assess, <laughs> divide 30 million by four, then you reduce a further. Because it's always say, even if you times that number, no go reach 30 million. So um, for now. what thing will be your last word to woman them? man then where they watch you what thing will be your last word inspire them i like that part that you know um i can always tell people and say your life starts when you decide for do something about it nothing is ever too late to start whether in a school whether in a business and when you go sit and say oh i need this boku boku money for start no in fact on where you get boku money if you make a lot of mistakes so for the young woman them if you just married you get a difficult husband probably the jealous and stuff and all of that just make sure say whatever you're doing your integrity is intact you respect and value yourself and you know what you're going on about if you don't begin born picking may that picking not stop you at the end of the day that child grows up it left you and move on it will be you and what you did with your life young man and now you know the partying, drugs, womanizing, and all of that thing in there. Take a step back. Me, I can tell me, Paddy, then say, I do not want to look like the Joneses. I want to be the Jones. Mm -hmm. Because when you are rich, 
you can be anything you want to be but when you're not getting you want for be that's where the problem lies if you know you cannot afford a certain lifestyle live within your means instead of you wear a fake designer where it cost you a lot buy a reasonable designer we're not to them big name brands you get designer doing upcoming designers in, and they're doing really good for themselves you dress well you're presentable make sure you take care of yourself when you open your mouth you articulate well you're able to represent yourself wherever you go make sure say you they take care of your body you take care of your life as a person you know and then you're good to go dandina is stepping stone for every mortal man but you say you want big money no family not they watch you then just give one thousand dollar five hundred five hundred dollars and a big money they know they look you and give you some people are lucky then family members go give them or you say you go apply for a phone and just ask and so then you know you have to work for it so if now hundred thousand you get you don't decide say i want to start this business go keeper if you think say the hundred thousand or they do gradually you go get some and another thing people do not plan they just they grab oh that me party they don't get tv company me say they can do it in my do <laughs> i shall open school me say they go open school it's not just like that you have to plan you go for do research you get you develop the project and then at the end of the day you see, say oh this you don't give time for make a lunch am. then you launch am. right now all man don't turn photographer all man don't turn makeup artist everybody's jumping into the business but then you do not look at what other people are doing you look at what you want to achieve what is the goal does bright beginnings want to have a college in the future yes i am working towards that what international and all the other big schools and they do that is a pace setter for me they are not my competition they are colleagues in the same industry where they aspire for be like I'm not going to say, oh, because then they charge, so me say, go can't charge, so where I know my capability is not up to that. I also think about my location, my earnings, my capability, and a whole lot of other things. So in everything where young people are doing that alone today, more puts the false life in a corner. Me, I know they bash anybody for go taking a job by iPhone, no. <laughs> now, it's seriously, because some man, they you not know, get thing for it, you not know, get sign for it, if you decide to want for buy phone, it's their flex. However, does the iPhone increase your status? It doesn't. I go enter certain places with a Nokia phone and then still give me cipher sedum. You go come with your iPhone, what are you bringing to the table? That's where the question comes. Not between you and your boyfriend. It's between you, yourself, and your country. What are you giving back? You don't learn book, work not a yes. You don't go volunteer as on side. You will be there, your outputs go make them retain you. But say Elena doesn't want to do free work. They don't. You reached out to me as a sister. Yes. We don't know ourselves in the filming industry. And we're doing this now. We're, we'll definitely have a collabo down the road. This is how these things happen. But people then just think, say, oh, um, I need to get this big money for can do this kind. No. Wow. You know. <laughs> you don't need to get big, big money for do what you want for do. So now, the point, the words that we, we take for Mrs. Aisha Uri Jalo. Now, one start something and not start something because other person do one start something where you believe in and want for do to always persevere you can go you reach some point still a rest for rest yes but no stop thank you very very much mrs aisha Uri jalo a very strong story a very inspirational one we tell we say perseverance um, being yourself, believing in what you want to do, is the watchword in life. If you're watching Fine TV, please take note of the story. Write some things then down from the story, especially Una, the young ladies. So, to meet again in another edition of this your special inspirational program, me will bring you this program in name now, Ishmael Dadis Bangoa. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.